Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to explain the modulus of resilience and modulus of toughness with the help of the example. So it will be easy to understand. And these two topics are related to the strength of material subject. Now, first of all, what is the modulus of resilience? It is basically the absorption of energy in elastic deformation where the modulus of toughness is it is the absorption of energy the material absorbed energy or the absorption of energy in the plastic deformation. This is known as the modulus of toughness. Now to explain this I will take help from the example. Now let's consider this is in a steel bar and this steel bar is subjected to any tensile loading. So this is a load of magnitude P and load of magnitude P is acting in the tensile direction on both sides of the steel bar. So due to this load, there will be some stresses created inside this material. And also there will be some deformation along the, along the longitudinal direction in this steel bar. So if I draw the graph, let's suppose the y-axis shows the stresses created inside the material due to the tensile load. And on x-axis, there is a strain which is the deformation created in this material due to the tensile load. So upon when the material is subjected to the load, so it will show some deformation. And let's suppose this deformation is too small and we applied the load, it is very less at the start. So if these are the stresses and strains, so the graph will be for the steel bar, it will be like this. It will show some proportional limit at the start. The stress and strain will be proportional to each other at the start of this load and will increasing and increasing it will yield here so there will be some limit here let's suppose this x first limit is the proportional limit for the steel bar in which both the stress and strain are proportional to each other so this is a full straight line and then there will be elastic limit in which the material is in elastic stage by removing this load the material will again come to its original position. So this limit in which the material can again come to its original position, this limit is known as the elastic limit of the material. After this limit, the material will not come to its original position. So this is the maximum state where the material can come to its original position. So this limit will be known as the elastic limit. Elastic limit of the material. Now, after this, I'm not going to define in this example, in this graph. I will define in another graph, which will be the, for the modulus of toughness. Now, at this start, when you apply the load, there is a stress and strain increasing, increasing with time. The first stage will be the proportional limit, where the stress and strain is directly proportional to each other. It means if I increase the stress by 2, the strain is also increases by 2. So, after this proportional limit, there will be another limit which will be unproportional limit, but material can be in elastic stage. So up to this stage, the material can come to its original position after removing the load known as the elastic limit of the material. And the energy stored in this, up to this stage, this energy will be known as the, the energy stored in the elastic limit will be known as the modulus of resilience. If you find the area of this triangle, so if you find the area of this triangle, so this will be what? This will be the half, this will be the height, which is stress, and this will be the base, which is the strain. So this supposes H and this is B. So half B into H, the area of triangle, and the area of triangle will be basically the modulus of resilience. So the area under this triangle or the area in, under this elastic limit of the material is known as the modulus of resilience. Now we consider the similar 
steel bar and let's suppose this is a stress strain diagram it shows the stress on the y-axis and strain on the x-axis now by increasing this load more let's suppose we increase this load by 5p so if I draw the if I draw the whole stress strain diagram for the steel bar so it will be look like this there will be proportional limit and then there will be some elastic limit and then yielding and then maximum and then failure so these are the different limits in the steel bar the first one is again the proportional limit which is same as the in this case proportional limit the second one will be the elastic limit the third one will be the yield limit and the this maximum shows the ultimate limit of the material and this is the failure limit or the friction limit of the material so these are the different points in the uh, stress strain graph of the steel bar so upon increasing the load we have this graph for the steel bar where the at loss the steel will fail now the energy stored in the material during the deformation up to the failure point this energy will be known as the modulus of toughness so if you find the area of this under this curve so the area under this curve will be equal to the modulus of toughness is upon loading the material always observes some energy but due to the less load applied on the material the material is in the elastic stage so it will come again to its original position after removing the load and the energy stored in the elastic limit is known as the modulus of resilience but we increase the load after the elastic limit and there is yielding and reaching to the ultimate state and then failure so the whole energy absorbed in the material till the material fails this energy will be called as the modulus of toughness of the material so this energy is actually in the plastic deformation case because after the elastic limit the, if this is the elastic limit and after the elastic we have plastic deformation in the material so this plastic deformation is basically is deformation where the material is not coming back to its original position after removing the load so the area under this whole case will be known as the modulus of toughness hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video